if black holes are indeed computers in addition to being entangled according to scientists working for Scientific American magazine this would mean that black holes are part of some kind of multi-computer system that spans the universe with us breaking everything down right now to the Andromeda galaxy in the Milky Way galaxy with their black hole cores playing their roles which could include what is called a role in a network on chip which is something I will get to shortly with the quantum nature of black holes corresponding to the concepts of quantum computation quantum communications and quantum encryption the latter of which corresponds to the so-called black hole information paradox which I am not going to elaborate on here as we notice once again the similarities in the structures and dynamics of interconnected black holes compared to the technologies we are comparing them to there are no two ways about the fact that the similarities are uncanny. These similarities include the tunnels or channels or bridges that link black holes together, including quantum black hole tunnels that correspond to the internet based tunnels and channels that facilitate quantum encryption, quantum communications, and quantum computing within and between systems. Again, we notice the uncanniness in the similarities. It is also significant that micro and mini and supermassive black holes are divided into categories that more or less mirror the subdivision of computers into micro and mini and supercomputers. This list of similarities includes clusters of black holes as well as clusters of stars and galaxies, the latter of which are all supposedly harboring black holes, including the black holes in the cores of the galaxies. And with me pointing out similarities in no particular order, at this point, these heavenly bodies are distributed throughout the universe like the internet, more or less. In addition to being chemically and dynamically identical to the internet and any other number of technologies, and I would bet money on this. This list of uncanny similarities includes classical and quantum black holes compared with classical and quantum computing, including classical and quantum central processing units, as well as classical and quantum networks. picture here is that the universe appears to be made of bits and pieces of technology and also appears to be organized like a network of some kind which could include a network on a chip like these here of which there are many varieties and whereby the distribution of the galaxies and their networks of black holes combined with the rest of the stars and planets and moons in the universe appear to be in just the right place to be part of a gigantic network on chip that spans the universe. 
as we can see with our own eyes, the similarities are undeniable, especially when we note the similarities in the distribution of the galaxies and the rest of the stars compared to the technological clustering involved with these network on ship devices you see which mirror the distribution and language of the galaxy and star superclusters that help make up our entangled and, and interconnected universe. The language is the same and I suspect the dynamics are the same. Some applications for these networks on ships are for graphics processing units which are used in video gaming, computer graphics, and to boost artificial intelligence. Networks on ships are also used for molecular and DNA sequencing in bioinformatics projects. An optical network on ships or slash photonic network on ships waveguides are used to carry optical signals to and from their destination with black holes and light holes perhaps serving as waveguides and with me wrapping up this video by juxtaposing the light hole network concept by Rakesh Chowdhury I think I got his name right with the concept of light based science of which there are many kinds which include optical and photonic transport networks and network on chip devices including holographic and quantum networks and so forth with the light based photonic and quantum components generated by our bodies being an integral part of this network I suspect Whether or not humans are some kind of hologram doesn't change the fact that humans emit biophotons and photons are used in technologies including computational photonics, photonic signal processing, information photonics, and so on and so forth. Photons can carry information. Photons are repositories of information and I don't see why our biophotons are not repositories and carriers of information. So if it is any consolation, remember this. When you are born, you download. When you die, you re-upload and if you reincarnate then you re-download for every piece of technology advanced technology produced by humans there is a corresponding natural phenomena out there in the universe we live in a technological universe Everything you were raised to believe about, well, almost everything you were raised to believe about the universe, about life and death, are little more than myths, lies, legends, lore, and fables and superstition. I have a playlist at the end of this video that you might want to look at and um, bear in mind that I am not pretending to be Mr. Scientist. All I am doing is pointing out the similarities between Mother Nature and technology. There is a meme floating around out there that humans are somehow extensions of the stars that the stars including black holes are sentient and we are avatars of them essentially now I don't know if this is true or not 
but if it is, this is the technology for it that you are looking at. Humans are technology. The universe is technology. You are technology. I am technology. And if you like this video, give it the thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. Please, thank you. Humans are technology. The universe is technology. You are technology. I am technology.